welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, welcome back to my channel, everyone, or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Tamara, and I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Today, I am, I don't know, I just, I want to make a video, but I don't have anything planned. I had quite a few videos in mind, and then they just kind of all slipped out of my mind. I've been very depressed lately. <laughs> it's kind of sucked, but they've all kind of just slipped out of my mind, and now I'm working on trying to get it back. I really should have written it down, but we're fine. So, today, what I'm going to be doing is basically just shuffling through my new tarot deck. Um, I've been wanting to get one because I've been like watching other people with them and like it's just so fascinating to me so I wanted to get my own and learn how to read them still don't quite know <laughs> um, I'm still new I got one and I was so excited about it there were so many different options I got one of the like um what am I trying to say Kind of like the one that everyone has, only it wasn't colored. It was one that I could color myself and, you know, make it my own. Now, I tried to, like, stick with the traditional um, looks of them as much as possible. But what I loved about it was I could color them all myself individually and kind of bond with each card on its own. But I put them in this little box here. And I forgot my book. It came with a little bit of a description on each card. About each card, not on each card. About each card. And I left the book at my brother's house. So, don't have that with me, but I have the cards. They look like this. And it took me forever to color them because there's so many. It took me literally like almost a week <laughs> to color all of these. And that was like coloring all day long with Lily. I had Lily in the house, so, you know, it probably took longer because I had to take care of her at the same time. Where I'm sitting, it looks like I'm not wearing a shirt to me because the straps are covered by my tripod. <laughs> um, so it just looks like I'm kind of naked to me. But to you, you can see the straps. Anyway, so I'm just going to basically be shuffling through these for some sounds. And also the birds are going to be singing because I have my window open. I had my fan on but that fan is really really loud. It's like right here you guys can't see it which is weird because it's like huge but it's very loud so I opened my window so I've literally just been, I took this everywhere, I'm trying to bond with it, get to know it a bit better, and I had two walks, I had, and today, well, okay, yesterday was one for SARC, which is a group in Maryland that kind of helps uh, women who have been abused and have gone through, you know, domestic violence and things like that. So we did about all, well, we didn't walk, we ran through. And I had this in my purse, my deck in my purse. And then today I had it in my purse because I've just been kind of carrying it around with me. And today we did a two and a half mile walk for the March of Dimes. So I've just been kind of taking it everywhere and whenever I can I can just get it out and shovel it. Kind of like when I'm watching TV or, um, you know, uh, thinking, like, Lilia left to go to her dad's today, today, Sunday, and after she left, I just kind of sat in silence and shuffled it for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Apparently I don't know how to shuffle. Um, also been trying to use my other hand, because I don't, I don't ever shuffle this way very weird. Try shuffling with your other hand sometimes. It's very difficult because <laughs> I keep almost dropping them. Thank you. Also,
also, I'm probably stupid, but I'm pretty sure Pirates is Disney, right? Why is Pirates sh being shown on Nickelodeon? I just, I thought that was so weird. I just saw that uh, yesterday. It's actually coming on tonight on Nickelodeon. The second one is, which is very strange. But um, Pirates of the Caribbean is <laughs> coming on Nickelodeon tonight. And I saw it yesterday. I was like, that's odd. Um, but, you know. I don't know why that popped into my head. It just did. So, I've been very depressed <laughs> lately, and it sucks, um, and I wish I wasn't, but, you know, it's just a low part of my life that I'm gotta deal with right now, uh, going through some changes, I feel like I've been going through changes for forever, this, this entire year so far has been one big, like, mental shift, and, oh, I just dropped a bunch of cards because I missed my thumb. <laughs> I, like, had it open and then I shut it and then I shuffled them down. But, um, yeah, so this whole entire year has just been, like, one gigantic, like, shift of my mental state. Like, of the emotions and uh, how I think and what I believe and been difficult. <sighs> I'm losing my focus. Apparently I can't talk and shuffle at the same time. Ooh! Six of Cups. Don't know what that means. Because I don't have my book and I haven't memorized. Oh! <gasps> wait! Wait, 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 wait. I think I might have written it down. Okay. It's in this book, I believe. What's that? Writing prompts. I want to start writing again because I love writing. But um, hold on. Jokers. So I like wrote down little notes here to like. Oh, I forgot page. Oh, I didn't write anything down there anyway. So let's see. So I have like notes down here. So what do we just have? We have the Six of Cups. And it says, Cups, describe your emotions and relationships. When the suit comes up, it's time to listen to your intuition. And then six. Goodwill, innocence, and childhood. That's the notes that I have written down for this. Goodwill. Innocence and childhood. Which is right, because it's like you're giving something to your friend. It's kind. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Because, like I said, I don't know a whole lot of what this. I wish I didn't leave my book there. I just kind of have like general notes written down about them. I need to do more studying. I know. I know. But. Oh, my brother has this giant, like, crystal ball. He says it's for taking pictures, but I know that he wants to, like, try to use it uh, for scrying and stuff. I want one, because it looked so cool. It's just like sitting on, oh, his desk. And it looked really cool. So I really want to, <laughs> I want one so bad. But I need to not get ahead of myself. I need to first learn how to use this and read this right. Or, you know, study it more and whatnot. My neighbors put a mirror outside of their house and my mom's freaking out about it. Cause she's like, I don't look with mirrors. Mirrors are like portals. And I'm like, well, I'm not, okay, but 
whatever you say. And my dad and I are both like, well, they put the mirror outside to deflect the negative energy and bad things. Like, she goes, well, I don't see how that happens. Well, we're like, it reflects it back out. <laughs> what do you mean you don't understand? Like, my dad's mother, Ooh. the chariot fell out. Oh, I don't have the major arcana on here. My dad's mom was, like, I guess, considered a witch. She wasn't very good at it. <laughs> we know that. We know she wasn't good at what she did, because she let a lot of bad shit into her house that she most likely didn't mean to. But, so my dad kind of, like, knows about this stuff from his mother. My mom just kind of makes shit up in her mind as she goes, I think. Uh, yeah. She doesn't know I have these, by the way, because I'm pretty sure if she found out, she would freak out. Like, freak out. So, you know. That's what I live with. I feel like I'm just, like, venting to you guys about my problems. Actually, I'm not, because I have a lot going on that. Like, my one friend is... just very stressed. Like I said, I've been going through a lot myself mentally and emotionally, and I feel like the one friend that I thought I could count on, um, I can't, because she just wants to constantly tell me her same problems over and over, which I keep trying to help her with, but she refuses help. And when I just listen to her, I listen, like, that's what I do, and then she turns around and comes back a couple days later with the same problems that she's complaining about, and she has these delusions. And I keep trying to, like, knock her out of these delusions in a kind way. Like, I don't try and, like, do it in a mean way. I would never do that. But it's just, it's emotionally exhausting. Because I'm the type of person that I take on everyone else's emotions as my own. And at the same time of this, I'm going through a lot emotionally and mentally. And it's just... So, we kind of haven't talked to each other in about two weeks. Because I know I made her mad with what I said. I didn't say anything mean, and I didn't say anything bad, at least. Well, to her, it probably was mean. But I just spoke the truth. And I'm not sorry about it. Like, And I'm not sorry if it upset her. Because she needs to get out of this delusional state of this false sense of reality because that's pretty much what she has at this point and like I don't say it like I don't want to upset her but at the same time I know exactly what she's going through because I was there at one point and when you come out of it it really sucks to try and deal with those emotions of being knocked back into real life and you know, I'm here for her when it happens, and I hope it happens soon, because I don't want her to waste a whole lot of time. Like, I felt like I wasted so much time, when really it was only like a year <laughs> that I wasted. Uh, and it's been over a year for her. Well over a year, and I don't want her to stay in this too much longer but she won't listen to me when I try to talk to her you know I say the same thing over and over again and then I end it I always end it with like I just want what's best for you and she like ignores everything else that I say and just goes I know you want what's best for me like no you don't <laughs> no you don't and it's just yeah so that's been going on I just don't know what to do. I know I need to patch things over, but I don't know how to do it without getting frustrated with the fact that she won't, that she's just going to continue with what she's doing. No, and along with that, I'd, she doesn't, like, reciprocate that same kind of friendship in return. Like, you know, it's a give and take. Relationships are give and take. You need to give 
if you're going to receive. And I just feel like she hasn't given enough. And that probably sounds horrible and like I'm a bad friend, but you know, I can't I can't keep taking on basically all of her stuff along with mine without having an outlet myself. It's probably where therapy comes in handy, but I'm sure if I went to therapy, my therapist would tell me to talk to her about it. You know, but I'm afraid if I talk to her about it, she's going to be like, well, why should I, like, why do you think it's unfair? Like, you're my friend, you're supposed to be there for me. And, you know, I feel like she'll just think that I'm being selfish. Maybe I am. Maybe I am being selfish. But, you know, I don't... I don't know. I did one of these tarot readings for this upcoming month of May. And it said, you know, you probably had a falling out with someone this past month and it'll uh, rekindle itself this coming month. I don't know how, but... Five of Coins. Isn't this like... Oh, I know what this card means. Okay, so the Five of Coins, this card means like, you like, had like, a journey of some sort that didn't quite work out well. And now you gotta like, restart over or something. Something like that. I know that you took a journey that hasn't gone well and yeah you just kind of look you just kind of like look tired and distraught so I do know some of them I'm on a journey <sighs> I don't know what kind Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> Not like the Five of Coins, or Five of Pentacles, whatever you want to call it. They call it the f Coins on here. But, Coins, Pentacles. I like the word Pentacle. 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 It's kind of a nice, tingly word to say, I guess. Okay, these <laughs> just became a mess in my hand. Oh, I'm not sitting on a pillow and my back is hurting. I also apologize that the light is changing, it's getting darker outside, it's like 7 or 7.30, something like that. I'm gonna put something under my booty so my back doesn't hurt so much. <sighs> Three of Wands just fell out. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I just looked this one up. Shoot. It's looking out, and it's looking out to the boats. Is it trying to make a decision? Of where to go? I just looked this one up earlier. I think that's what it said. I'm learning. I like to learn. Oh, I also got a Reiki book. And I have exercises to do, so I haven't been able to move forward because I want to do the exercises. I'm going to do them tomorrow because you need to be outside, and it hasn't been real nice. You need to be outside in the sun, so hopefully it's sunny tomorrow and warm. It's springtime, and I'm loving it. Uh, so I need to do those. Hermit. Hermit. I'm a hermit. cards just fell. Oh, it's the Three of Wands again and the Seven of Swords. I don't remember this one.
excuse me. Oh. And that tastes good. Do, 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 do. Can you guys even hear these shuffling? I just looked at the timer and it said 22-22. One, this video has been going on for a while, and two, that's a lot of twos. <laughs> I mean, I know what they mean, but why are they still happening? <laughs> Is this going to be the rest of my life now? I'm just going to keep seeing repeating numbers everywhere. Because I don't think I've ever seen this many repeating numbers in my entire life. You guys ever just want something so badly that you like drives you crazy just thinking about it? That's me right now. I mean, not like just today, not like just in this moment, but like the past few weeks and maybe even months. I don't know. I'm not good with time. It's just been that way. brother I told him that I got these and they had a Game of Thrones themed deck there so those of you who like Game of Thrones it's pretty cool um, I personally don't watch it it's just it's not my type of thing to watch it's very dramatic I know and I just I can't watch very dramatic things anymore in fact I don't watch much of anything anymore um, Oh my god, I don't watch anything anymore. I watch Friends. And oh, I do watch drama. I watch My 600 Pound Life, but that's once a week. And I watch Friends a couple times a week. Like binge watch it like a couple times a week. And then the rest of the time my daughter just has Nickelodeon on. I don't watch anything. Oh, but I found this one documentary, I think it's on On Demand, Xfinity, and it's, um, shoot, what is it, um, it's where they're, like, sending something to look at the sun, and, like, yeah, I haven't finished it, I need to finish it, because my attention span doesn't last that long, and it was late at night. But again, my, my attention span doesn't last that long. <laughs> like, this video is going... I want to make this video long of just me talking and shuffling because I feel like you guys deserve a long video, whatever it may be. Um, just to have, you know, maybe have some company. Because I know that I like to have that sometimes. Um, but, like, it's going to take me forever to edit this video just how it is. It takes me forever to edit like a 10 minute video and this one's gonna be forever. Like I'll literally listen to like 10 seconds of it, go out, do something else for like two minutes 
come back, edit another like two minutes of it, go out again, maybe go eat something. Like, the attention span does not last that long. But yeah, so I could watch that, finish watching that, but I don't really watch anything anymore. Because it's just. Like, I was watching Dr. Pickle Popper as well. I love all those TLC shows. Um, so my 600 pound life is basically the one that I watch at all anymore. <sighs> like, I used to watch, like, I used to love Ridiculousness. Don't really watch that much anymore. I used to watch Catfish. Don't really watch that anymore. I used to watch Orange is the New Black. I haven't watched that in a long ass time. I used to watch, like, we have The Hunger Games. I love those. Don't watch them. We have all the Pirates movies. I love those. Don't watch them. I own the Scream movies. Screen. Scream movies. I love those. Don't really watch them. Oh, but I do love Cars. Like, I will sit and I will watch all the Cars movies. But other than that, I don't even really sit down to watch Friends. Like, I have it on in the background as I'm doing other things. I just have no desire to, like, I used to love the Marvel movies, and I know that the new Avengers just came out. I didn't go see it. I didn't watch Black Panther. I didn't watch, um, what was the next one? The Last Avengers. I didn't watch... The last Avengers that came out. I don't plan on watching anything else. I don't know. I just don't have a desire to watch anything anymore. That's sad. Like, I love movies and I love going to the movies and hanging out with people and watching movies, but I don't know. I just can't get into the storylines, I guess. Or I don't really care to watch movies. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it kind of frustrating actually. What's wrong with me? Ooh. Well, I guess that might be my answer. I got the four of cups. Okay, so I just did something real quick with these cards. It just told me <laughs> what I already know. Um, but apparently, I don't want to listen to myself, so the cards have to repeat it back to me. It literally just told me exactly what I was thinking earlier. That's crazy. I know, I kind of want to cry. It's a special moment. Whoa! Okay, hello. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Okay, so he's got the world. remember coloring this and reading about it and now I like don't know what it is let's look at my cheat sheet two of wands personal power originality and boldness which kind of goes along with what I just did for myself all right then
three of cups. A lot of cup cards, man. A lot of cup cards coming out. I just had two cup cards when I asked my question. They were both cups. Exuberance, foresight, oh wait, no. I reversed that. Exploration, community, friendship. I also know that this could mean um, like a birth. Like a pregnancy or a birth, because it's a celebration. It's a celebration of something. I remember that when I was reading about it. I switched these. I wrote them in the wrong spot. Wait, no. Exuberance, community, and friendship. And then the three of wands is exploration, foresight, and leadership. I wrote it in the wrong spot, because I wasn't paying attention very well when I did it. Means change. What would make sense? If you're, yeah. Now the other hand, which I'm not very good at. I'm gonna start throwing cards everywhere. Page of Wands, which I don't remember and I don't have notes written down. So, don't remember that one. There's a hair right here. Really bothers me. My hair is so thick too, so like when I put it behind my ear to try and get it out of the way. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Joking, it looks horrible. So, like, it looks so weird when I put it behind my ear because it's so thick. It's driving me insane. But it's not time for a haircut yet. Maybe. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't want to spend the money to go get a haircut just for that part of it. So, like, the rest of it isn't bothering me. It's just that over there. When you guys see the plus symbol, do you think of it as plus this, or do you think of it as and this? I'm curious. Because, like, I think I switch it up, depending on what I'm talking about. Or what I'm reading. I itch use my cards to scratch the itch of my hand.
like really dark in here. You can't see the glitter on me anymore. I put glitter on my body. Actually, it's not glitter. It's like a pure pigment, but I fell in love with it. And now I want to wear it everywhere. Now, all I'm going to wear is this like cropped cami <laughs> for the rest of my life so I can just... Also, I want to get a tan, but I feel weird going outside and tanning, but I don't want to go somewhere to get a tan, because why am I going to go somewhere to get a tan when there's a sun outside? But I'm afraid to go outside in the sun and just lay down in the grass, because then people are going to see me, so I want to go somewhere that I can get a tan, but I don't want to have to... Do you see my problem here? I'm insane. I want to go to the beach, though. Definitely want to go back to the beach. Like, I don't care for sand that much because it gets everywhere, but I love the ocean. I love water. Ooh, King of Swords. Forgot what it said about him. going to say was and before I got distracted what did I get start oh I started talking about how I don't watch movies or anything like that I started to tell you guys about how my brother told me because I should send him the Game of Thrones tarot deck and he goes yeah I don't really do tarot and I said you know well you know I've been getting into it and he goes I don't really like it because I always get the same reading when I do it. And I was like, are you asking it the same questions every time? And he goes, well, yeah. And I'm like, oh, no wonder you're getting the same reading. You're asking the same goddamn questions. It's not going to change. Ask it different questions. <laughs> like, it's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Actually, it's not. The most ridiculous thing I ever heard was that you can cover the United States with the state of Texas. That's the most ridiculous thing that I ever heard. And that came out of my mother's mouth. I don't know why I just got so aggressive and like had an attitude right there for a second. I'm sorry. Ugh. I think I'll write a comedy story. My sister-in-law takes this comedy class every year. Uh, but my brother and her are doing it over the summer, and, like, I don't, I know that she would, like, if I asked her, she would probably, like, pay for me to go, but it's, like, so far away from me that I don't think I would ever make it to any of the meetings. Um, so they want to do the comedy class this summer, so I figure while they're doing their comedy class, I'll just write a comedy story along with them. I have some pretty good stories that I can turn comical. Actually, they're freaking pretty hilarious on their own without having to do much. Uh, Stacy has been doing it. This was her third performance. And the first two I wasn't able to go for, but the third one, this last one, it was yesterday, uh, I went to and it was pretty good. We helped her out. She rehearsed it for us and we gave her some tips on what to do, and by we, I mean I did, while my brother watched something and chimed in every now and again. It turned out really well, and I thought, man, I would really like to write a story. You know, use one of my funny stories and make it even funnier for people. I mean, I won't be able to perform it. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Aggression, defiance, and conviction. That is not what it looks like to me. Looks like someone getting ready to fight. Oh, aggression! Never mind. Don't pay attention to me. <laughs> I'm not really here. Um, so I wouldn't be able to perform. Jesus! Three of Swords. I know what that means. Um. I wouldn't 
be able to perform it in front of like the rest of the group, but you know, I think it'd be fun just to do it anyway. I like to write. That's why I have my writing prompts here. Like I said earlier, I've got these writing prompts and I want to start writing again because I loved it. I loved it so much when I was in school. Like my hand hurts and I'm like so hyper, um, like I have a lot of rough drafts. I edit it so much because I want it to be so perfect, but I love it. I love it, man. Took a creative writing class and you should have seen how excited I got when I figured out how I was going to end my one story. And it was all quiet. I was writing a story about this woman who had a home delivery of her twin babies, but she didn't know it was twins until it was already happening. And I just decided, I was like, oh, I'm gonna kill her! Like, she dies at the end. Um, but like, you should have seen, I got so excited, it was dead ass silent in the room, and I just shout, I'm gonna kill her! And like, I was so excited about it, and I started frantically writing, meanwhile, everyone was like, looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? And my friend's sitting next to me, and she's like, laughing her ass off. She's like, do you realize that you said that out loud? And I'm like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna kill my character. It was a really nice story, and I wish I still had it. I don't know where it went. I guess when I throw all my old school stuff out, I throw it out by mistake. Oh, and also, one time... Maybe I shouldn't tell you this story. Maybe I'll wait until, like, wait into the... Maybe at least a couple more years. Or at least a year. I'm gonna wait at least a year before I tell the story again. At least in public, so never mind. But it was freaking hilarious. And it was great. But it's kind of controversial at the moment. Not like, it's not bad. It's just, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, that I just, I don't want to start anything like that. But. Love writing. And I've been told a lot this past week that I need to be more creative, or actually not be more creative, I need to get out my, um, what do they call it, sexual energy by being creative, because apparently those are the same things, I don't know, but I've been feeling like I need to create something, I need to be more creative, do things that are creative actually, read more, um, and I've been told. Like, hey, you need to, you know, create something. Be creative right now. So, I don't know. What was I writing? Oh, I wrote my dream down. I don't know if I want to continue with that. Or not. I haven't decided. Or I might do one of these writing prompts. I might just create a story on my own. Oh, I started to write a story about death. About this girl who, like, she's very troubled. And she, like, basically watched her friend die. Um, due to alcohol poisoning. And this guy shows up. And he, like, kind of takes her. And, like, her mom told her. That scene earlier that day. She was like, you know. You need to stop this drinking. You need to like get your shit together or we're gonna send you away to like this rehab facility and that same night her friend died due to alcohol poisoning and this guy showed up and was like hey you know if your parents find out you're gonna they're gonna send you away come with me and i'll take care of you so you don't have to go away to like this other completely other place and like creepy things start happening with this guy like He's a little too nice and a little too perfect, and why is he wanting to help me out? What's his problem? And basically how it's going to end it was, you find out that he is death. Like, he is death. And you know, death's job is to come for people. And take them away, kill them. 
and basically I was going to end it how like the girl is trying to escape because this is how this is how you um get out of the job of being death or how you get into the job of being death or not really death but I guess the Grim Reaper so to speak um is you have when it's your job you have to trick someone who is broken you take the easiest target someone who's broken someone whose life is really messed up you trick them and slowly you like I don't know I don't know how it's going to do it but somehow it ends up that you finally like you you get them and you get them and then they have to take over being death and you can go back to living your normal life how it was or not like how it was but you know you can go back to having a life and the way I was gonna end it was she thinks that she's getting away and she doesn't and she, she runs out the back door trying to escape and she doesn't have the energy to keep going forward and it like pulls her back into the house and she's stuck being death I basically just told you my book but I haven't finished writing it I I don't know like meanwhile like her friend like her dead friend you know comes to her in dreams and tries to communicate with her and tell her hey this guy don't mess with him and she's like why not what's wrong with him and you know she, somehow she figures out that he's death but I haven't quite figured out how I was gonna let her figure that out um, and like at first I was like justice at first I was like you know maybe she does get away but then I was like no I think it'd be better if like you think she's gonna get away and then at the very last second she gets pulled back in and she's she's stuck with it but I don't know I don't know how to go it's so hard trying to figure out how to make it good without making it ridiculous like I don't want to say that there's a lot of things about it that I need to drop and a lot of things about it that I need to figure out so I just don't know I just don't know what I'm gonna do with it it's sitting in my Google Docs right now just waiting to be messed with maybe I'll work on it maybe that'll be my creative thing is just to work on it but tell me what you guys think if you guys have gotten to this part of the video I know this is a long ass video if you guys are here let me know what you think about having that book because I think that would be really cool if I could make it good if I could get it how I want it it would be a great book I think but um anyway come on so what, what was I saying oh yeah my book I'm being creative I need to be creative so maybe that'll be my thing maybe I'll work on that but I'm so indecisive and I just want things to be perfect I want it to be so good But I'm so critical. I'm like, such a perfectionist when it comes to writing things. Like, I wrote short stories in, like, in class. And they would take me way longer than everyone else. Everyone else would be on their final draft. And I would still be on, like, my rough draft. Editing it and making it perfect. And my teacher would be like, you need to do your final draft. And I'd be like, it's not perfect yet. You know. <laughs> but, yeah. dropped all those cards. You did not see that. Because I have them down here. You're just looking at my face. I wanted to come home and take a nap. But I didn't. I stayed up. Well, I mean, I had to stay up until Lily got picked up. And then after Lily got picked up, I kind of just sat in my head for a while. And then my parents got up. 
and I was still in my head for a while. And then my parents went to work, and I sat down, put some glitter on, and then sat down to make this video. <laughs> and now here we are, about an hour later. Exhausted. Um, I'm already in my jammies. I put my jammies on after I put the glitter on. And then. Yeah. Okay. Don't know what that was, but my camera just cut off. Uh, I guess it's tired of me talking to it, and that's a sign that I should end this video. So. We're going to put these back their little container. I bought this little container at the dollar store. I thought it was so cute and it fits them like perfectly in there. So now they're back in their little box. Alright, so thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you've made it this far, I like applaud you because this was just a long video of nonsense but I feel good after talking I feel like I needed to just talk and you know I feel so much better talking to a camera than I do actual people <laughs> so here I am talking to my camera um but thank you for listening thank you for watching I hope maybe you could enjoy this or get some sort of entertainment out of this or relate to this or have some company, you know, um, but yeah, I'm going to go try and edit a little bit of this. I just wiped off some of my lip gloss on my thumb, but <laughs> I'm going to go try and edit some of this and then, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.